Hey guys, Panda here. So this week we played Siege Engines. Now this is a very basic Siege Engine deck and I have definitely seen better lists. One thing I wish I had done at this at the time was swap Il Deco with a Defender, but as per usual this deck is on the cheaper side, although these days with us running Karathi over the Geralt and everything, the average scrap cost is higher. Anyway, this deck aims to 2-0 the games that it plays, which obviously sometimes is impossible, and if you have to go to a third round, you ideally want Siege and two Siege Engines for that third round, as that's pretty much the best power dump and damage that you can deal in the short round. Next week we'll carry on with Northern Realms, playing with the Royal Inspiration Leader ability. That means Knights. If you want to follow our slow and steady exploration of Gwent one archetype at a time, don't forget to subscribe, and you can catch us live on Gwent's days at twitch.tv slash combatpanda007. Let's get into the games. <laughs> and I still GG everyone. He's wasting everyone's time playing Coltus. What do you mean? We have the Raffards. I can go Raffards into Kadweni. The Raffards will pull probably the Reinforced Ballista. And then one thing, I was watching this Spud play and he was like, um, when somebody disconnected right at the Raffard. end, he was like, you make sure you GG. Fuck you! It's fucking mill. Bruh. This could be a problem, because we have a lot of draw as well. So I could literally run out. But then also, we're good at going... Uh, do I want this front or back row? Uh, nothing that has a cooldown has a location requirement. It's only the Carabalistas, and he's just freaking discarded one. So our chances of drawing it's pretty low. Just don't play Raffard. But why? All oh, right, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I don't really know if I've got much of a win condition otherwise. I'm still gonna play it, to be honest. It's not about why. It's about because the idea will be to finish it on round two. So it'll be to blow him out this round, and then round two, he doesn't get a chance to come back. Oh. Wait, what? Oh no! Hang on. This could be um. What do you call it? Do I want to play this? Just thinking out loud. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Um, different perspectives are helpful. Right, I'll put that there. Uh, play a bronze unit from your hand. I could have put it here. That was silly. I should have put it here. I was supposed to pull the reinforced ballista, wasn't I? Whoops. <laughs> um, I'm going to play the Odrin. That didn't help where I wanted it to. Alright. Artorius is a big pain in the ass. Um, these Imperial practitioners make me think he might be trying to go for... Ah, um, oh, hello. Don't mind if I do, thank you. Alright. Um, where were we? Do I start getting this out now? Doesn't need crew. That doesn't really need crew. I want to save him for second round. I'm actually thinking I might play the Onager, which is disappointing because we just missed out on damage. But it's fine. I'll just reduce this cooldown while we're here. First. Good job, Wombat Combat. You really got in there and showed me. That's actually quite annoying. Oh, obviously we just play in between the two. Alright. So let's think before we click the thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just playing a Siege Tower. Is this some Oceanic Flight Club? You know it, man. <laughs> it's, it's all we do. Um... Alright, now how am I getting something down to one? My next revenant. Oh. No one can hide from me. And I'm just a big fat zero. Oh hey, assuming I really I re 
I'm just constantly like, get your own damn deck. That's often my thinking with some of these. If I use this, I get the resupply on the Raffards. Raffards doesn't have a resupply. You idiot. But the point is I get Amphibious Assault back next round. But then what would I even play? What would I even play? I don't want to winch. Do that. Pull out the reinforced trebuchet. Do that. Nothing got low enough. Uh. Fucking, this isn't what I want to do, but I'm running out of time. I, um. I think I wanted to winch the Raffards. Okay, it turns out it was fine. Um, but yeah. Usually, you know, usually one's first. So, you... You've gone beyond first. You're so good. You're the top. I'll be the combat drop bear. <laughs> Koalas are too on drugs and fucked up to be a combat related. Um, I think this is good. We've got an Onager. I would like Bombardments or Siege. We're going to pull that with the Voltest. I mean the Henselt. Uh, that will draw us a card. They've already pulled out our thing that summons. That will bring us out something else. So maybe the other Siege weapon. Uh, so I think... Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Because now I've only got... Oh, I will bring the, the Revenant out with the Amphibious. Okay, so... We start with Carablister. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. And I get the winch back. Looking standard. Alright, what do you got for me, Mr. Tactical Decision? Ooh. Break the sail! You don't say. Alright, I'm gonna put this on the front row. We retreat! We hide! Jump under the Isn't drop here's a joke, I'm from Europe. I heard it was some sort of piss the Australians took on us. Uh, I think it's in reference to koalas who get so stoned on eucalyptus leaves that it is possible for them to just fall out of a tree. Um, and that is no joke. I run the risk of this pinging the wrong thing. You one piece, fight for it. So this happens, that happens, that happens, and we will put just one dude down. I need to stop saying contract complete, I'm like very aware the contract is complete, I'm on to the next step. Didn't they play this last round? They just played my fucking siege man. It's cheating. That is fucking cheating. We can just take a round. This is fine. Let's fire that, we fire that. Ah, uh, so Andre will get played next round. Jesus. It'd be nice if they could kill my Siege Master. Mind you, I suppose I'd lose crew on this, wouldn't I? Okay, so I believe it's Onager. Do that. That. Of course it doesn't die. So at that point, I don't think I'm gonna shoot the other one. Alright. 
Alright, because I'd have to re I'd reset the cooldown on all of it, and I'd just lose a lot of fitness from the fault is pride splashing. Of course, we do run the problem of losing the volunteer to this. But that's fine, because we're just going to spawn another one. But it won't affect the no first thing cooldown. Fucking what? should be this. Okay. Also, I've got stuff getting buffed, and I don't know why. Let their blood break their bones and spirit. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of going to be a problem. It's kind of not hot. And then, yeah, so we just make sure it doesn't go to third round, and then we don't worry about him discarding my deck. In your turn versus out by the difference between the number of cards. Ah. Well. You have resupply. You have resupply. You have resupply. Sad was hoping to not have that die. Um, and then this dice. Very dice. I've even still got two shots left. Alright, well played. Oh, it's just that's been the general experience with the deck. Um, now, to be yeah. fair, I haven't versed a huge amount of heavy control. We have versed uh, Skellige. Which I have pronounced right for the first time ever. There was a period of time where we were running into so much of it. And I see why now. Alright. Uh, I don't think the winch is going to be terribly useful here. Unless I house out out a... Um, hang on. What if we aim to not necessarily win the first round? One, two, three, four, five, six cards. I've never gone for a particularly passive um, early game before. I don't have any purifiers, and that makes me sad. I, I still can't get over the fact that there is a lock, a two charge lock about fucking cultists, man. The day is nice. uh, infuse a bronze enemy unit. I dislike that. So I'll get rid of it. Was that wasteful? Probably. But if we can get him to stop stacking. Ah, uh, there's the lock. We'll play another one. I'm going to reinforce Trubuchet the back row. Oh, okay. Or they just replay the lock unit. Fun and interactive gameplay. Is this a gold? Is this a bronze? Pro. Teleportation's yuck. unit from your deck and boosted by eight. Ha 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 They got their other lock. Oh, it can do bleeding too. That's dumb. Alright, anyway. Should I play this so they can lock it too? Didn't have formation, no. Because it's got water ranged. Formation would be a crazy thing to have on this. Alright, there's both their lair abilities gone. Um, 
infuse unit in your hand with cultists. Right, I think that's a pass. I never used my tactical advantage, which is sad, but it only would have gotten us to 20 anyway. Yep, that's a pass. He's used four locks this round. So that's fun. So, you know, better chuck that one off Purify in my deck. That'll make a huge difference. Alright, Siege. Need to be careful with the Siege because it's not impossible that they'll just play one unit and then pass. So I guess the question is, do I want the Reinforced Ballista or do I want the Onager as a potential throwaway unit? Ah, uh, so flanking, end of turn ability happens twice, end of turn gain charge. Not a big fan of that. I mean, it kind of looks like they're going to keep going. Unless that's just the worst thing that they could have played. That was a poor choice of card. Yep, yeah, and that's why. Because now I'm a card down. Which means they have double last say. That was a very bad choice of card to play. Mind you, the Onager was no different. Alright, what do we still got in here? Got another bombardment. The Amphibious, the faultiest we could pull with, um, thing. They've used four locks out of their deck. I think I'll keep this as it is. So we'll just play the Raphard's Vengeance. Momentum. Watch them have another lock. No, I drew the fucking Hubert. That's bad news. Alright, because now it's just 5 power. It is no good. No good on its own. Alright, there's our Karathi. So... Caraballista is going down. Crafty on the scenario. Uh, I don't want to reset anything just yet. What do you do? Your opponent plays a cultist, damage itself by one. Yeah, so I need to get this dead. Out of the way, rabble! Uh, uh, card is played or summoned if you control three or more cultists. Don't, you don't. The first time you spawn a unit on your side of the battlefield each turn, spawn a one power copy of it on this row and then give it doomed. Okay. I have to play this before I do anything else. One, two. Pull down a little bit. And then two more, and then the trebuchet will finish it off. So don't need to worry about that anymore. And my assumption is that they were planning on spawning some more of these. Um, and I'll probably drop... Okay. Um, I'll probably drop Odrin in the middle here. Actually, if I do this... Oh, that's two damage, but... No, we do this. It's one more damage to play it next to the Rampards. Um, But it's only one more damage for one turn. Alright, there's a Prophet. So this is... The one that locks everything. So what we'll do is play that there. Unlocks everything. Use this to bring the onager out. Which gives us a battering ram, which we'll be using it next round. 
Ah, uh, this back row is full. Which I need to keep in mind. It would have been extremely nice, obviously, if we could have killed this off before it got to um, do its stuff. And then King Henselt will no longer pull the fault test, so I might just get another monitor from him, to be honest. Problem is, is that then we don't have a lot of stuff with cooldown next to him. Uh, destroying enemy unit with status, All right? What? They got two copies? Bruh. All right. Um, this doesn't do what we want it to do. I think I will do this. Wait. Oh my god, that's not a crew unit. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh well. GG me. We get to do four damage here. I don't know what they'll deal it to. Um. Is it the... No, I kind of thought it might have been the Odrin. Fuck. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. See? That was fine. Um, let's reduce the cooldown there. And, uh, that'll be it. I don't see them bringing this back. This continues to pop away. Oh my god, they just keep having them. Man. Um, let's play that. Which means our Hensout is not getting fucking boosted. My god, that was such a stupid place to put that. Such a stupid place. I just, I mean, it's, it's only like two total power across the thing. But the point is, we lost it. Uh, give an enemy unit doomed if it already has a status, lock it. Cool. I love this guy. He's so fair. Alright, let's do this. No. I didn't want this to come back up. So they got two cards to catch up. Um, 37 power. 35 power. Um, don't crickets me, sir. Um, okay, now there's, there's one card to catch up 33 power, so I think we're okay. Yeah, we are okay. I forgot to emote once again. 